Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna cut off some of my hair today. Um, and you might think this is a really bad idea, and it probably is. It's just that it's locked down right now and I can't get to a salon for like minimum like 20 days and if it gets extended then even more. And uh, because of like diabetes and being so sick, um, my hair is starting to really fall out and it's driving me kind of crazy and I kind of just want to cut off like all the dead stuff because it's really hard to look in the mirror when you are seeing your hair thin at, you know, this age and, you know, being a woman. <laughs> um, so I might just give her a little choppity chop and I thought I would record it for the drama. Cause hello, welcome to YouTube drama. Who doesn't love drama? So let's go see how this goes. I always find that like when you go to cut your hair, it always like looks okay. I, I don't know if that's like your brain being like, uh, <laughs> maybe we don't want to cut it um, or not, but I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like I should cut it. Cause I don't think it's gonna like, like, when it grows back, like, it'll be all uneven, like, when it, you know? This is a good idea. I'm not saying I'm trained, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying try this at home. I'm not saying any of that. I'm gonna cut off my sad, sick hair, um, just a little, and I want to save some for my stylist to, like, get at, you know? Like, I'm not completely off the rails here, but I really would like the sick hair to be gone slow and just chop this bit off and see what happens. Goodbye. I mean, that's commitment right there. I like it. I feel like I actually didn't do that bad of a job. Wow. I'm sure it's uneven, but I will go to a hairdresser one day. Um, it's definitely uneven. I don't know how to fix that, but I think it's cute. I'm only crying because I'm crying because I'm losing my hair. Um, I actually like it. Um, I think that was a good move. I don't know. <laughs> I like it though. I've had short hair before, so like that helps. <laughs> like I'm not shocked. I have had shorter hair. So I'm just gonna start over, you know? Okay, so I did it. I didn't style it. I should have styled it. Maybe I should style it. It is still thin, obviously, but um, I think it looks a lot better. I'm really happy I did that. I'm not saying do this at home. Definitely not saying that. I'm just saying I'm very relieved right now. Um, I think it's just like similar to like the breakup cut, you know, like that everyone makes fun of, like people getting their hair cut after breakups, but it's because you don't want to look like that person anymore. And I really didn't want to look like a sick person anymore. I wanted to shed her. Um, and it feels really, really good to have her gone. I kind of want to go shorter, but for the time being, like, this is fine. And, uh, stay tuned and hopefully we can get, um, get our hair to grow back. But, okay, I'm, like, really relieved looking at myself. What an emotional day. Hair is emotional. I never consider myself too vain. Like, I always liked playing with my hair, cutting it and stuff. Um, but wow, when it starts to leave that is really scary uh and emotional so um i'm really happy with how it turned out